yes good to have you back on this channel in this video i'll quickly be showing you how to size your power backup system um, that is how to know the capacity of battery that you need and then the specification of your inverter that you need and also the rating of the charger that you need uh, in our previous videos we've talked about all you need to know about power backup system and also uh, how to carry out the connection of um, the option of using um, inverter charger and then just the battery for your power backup system in case you've not seen that video please um, you can quickly just rush and then watch that and then come back to continue this video for better understanding all right if you are just watching us for the first time and you've not really subscribed to this channel please kindly look down to the screen below you see the red uh, right up there subscribe just click it and you know on your notification button and don't forget to like the video at the end of it and also share and drop your comments also drop your questions actually in the comment section all right the first step is to do the load calculation for the system and uh, this is where you will be bringing on board um, all the devices that you want to place on inverter the bulb the tv the sound system and all that depending on you uh, for me i use um, excel for easy you know calculations and then if there are adjustments it can just easily give me results you can do this manually no problem but i just like to use excel so i'll be doing illustration with the excel sheet that i've already computed all right this is the um, excel sheet right the heading is a power backup load calculation and i'll be doing explanation of uh, the columns i have in the table for better understanding the first one is the serial number and then the next one is the description where you have uh, a list of uh, items that you want to place on the inverter the next is the quantity uh, and on the quantity you have a quantity for each of those items listed then we have the device rating on the device rating um, this is uh, where you put the rating of the device in watts actually it's always um, on the device you can check back of the device or if you can't get it just google it you will of course see appropriate rating that works with each of these devices you know and then this you can insert in this uh, you know column so um the next one is the total wattage and for the total wattage is just a multiplication of the quantity and the device rating so you will get your total wattage and then you do that then we move to the hour of usage the hour of usage is the number of hours that you, you feel you use each of these devices daily you can see for the bulb i put five hours television four hours and so on and then and so forth um, so you can just decide you know what your usage so the next one actually is um, the watt hour and now the watt hour is the multiplication of the total wattage and then the hour of usage so you have all those uh, figures there um, now let me do another uh, important uh, explanation for the phone you will see that uh, where the quantity for the phone is i didn't put anything i just put the device rating and this is because we normally just you know quantify all the phones that you really need to charge to be uh, you know 10 watts which is uh, okay be respective of the number of phones that you have in your apartment this 10 watts should take care of it but now uh, two uh, summations are important to us here and then that's the total wattage summation and also the watt hour summation because these two are what we'll be using you know to calculate our battery size and also um, the inverter size and thereafter we can of course get the rating that will be on the charger so let's go to the first one the first one is the battery sizing actually um, this will tell you uh, the size of battery you need in in your device and then actually the battery is measured in amp hour if you check the battery you always see is amp hour so the formula is simple that's watt hour multiplied by days of autonomy divided by the system voltage um, the watt hour 
actually is we we'll get that one from the table that we just uh, you know calculated uh, previously and uh, the days of autonomy is the number of days you want the system to be on if it has not been charged you understand so let's say you charge it today fully so the number of days that you want it to work based on your calculation in that table uh, is days of autonomy then the next one is the system voltage uh, you know uh, system voltage is the voltage with which your inverter the battery and every other thing works there's 12 volt there's 48 volts so uh, based on our calculation from the table now we have 1147 and me i'm using one day as my day of autonomy so i'll put one day system voltage 12 so computing these um, i will get the result which is a uh, 95.6 amp hour now this is the this is the battery size that i need for that load calculation but now you don't get batteries that come as 95.6 amp hour but you don't get battery that come with this particular you know rating 95.6 or 92 or 43 batteries come like 100 amp hours 150 200 like that so what you will do if you have a result like this is to take it to the uh, next available rating of battery so now i have 95.6 so the next available rating is 100 amp power so i need one of 12 volts of 100 amp power batteries at least for this uh, system um, let's say for instance you have a system you know that you have designed and then your amp power rating now now falls to you know let's say uh, 450 for instance or you know 450 is even to uh, close let's say 480 fine so we can now conclude that you need you know 500 amp hour in the recent so what you just do is to divide that 500 by 100 amp hour batteries that is available to you you know so that will give you five pieces of 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries to be used in that situation all right so let's move to the next item which is uh, the inverter sizing this is straightforward actually uh, you will not really have much headache the inverter is uh, is rated in watts in most cases so and that is equal to uh, the total wattage like we have from that table that we did our calculation from earlier on so um, if you go by what we have there we should have 315 watts specification of inverter that we fit for the purpose of this system that we are designing but just like the case of the battery you will not uh, see 315 watts inverter in the market so what is advised to be done is to you know round this up to the next available kind of inverter that you have in the market so for me the next available kind of inverter that i have here in nigeria to this figure that i have is 500 watts so i just um, you know round it up to 500 watts kind of inverter which is which must also be a 12 volt uh, inverter so that all the system will be 12 volts like uh, i earlier mentioned for the battery so the next and the last uh, for this type of connection is the charger sizing so we need to size our charger now um, and this is simple actually uh, chargers are you know uh, rated in hams and for calculations like this chargers are just 10 percent of the amp hour rating of the battery that you are using so in this case i'm only uh, using 100 amp hour so i need to calculate the 10 percent of that 100 amp hour and that will give me you know 10 amps so in conclusion the system i'm designing will actually need a 10 amps 12 volts battery charger and then this will charge the battery fully for a duration of uh, 10 hours but uh, if i really want a system that will charge faster i can increase the amps of uh, the kind of charger that i'm going to buy of course you should know that that will be more expensive than 10 amps so I uh, can buy 20 hours, which will now, you know, shorten the duration of charging to 5 hours instead of 10 hours. Alright guys, I believe you enjoyed this video. 
uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in my next video where i'll be telling you how to know if your battery is good or bad bye for now